Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond Find light in the beautiful sea I chose to be happy What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty sure from the title of this video you guys already see this video is going to be how I glue down my lace frontals or my lace wigs or anything that I have to glue down, okay? The wig that I'll be installing, which is the wig that I'm wearing right now, is from ChinaLaceWigs.com. This is their Brazilian Body Wave 360 Lace Frontal Wig. What I love most about China Lace Wigs is that their wigs are super affordable and all uh, right now they do have a big holiday sale going on. I'm not too sure how much discount off you're getting, but I do know that they do have a huge holiday sale going on right now so you guys definitely want to take advantage of that um before jumping into this video this is not my first time working with china lace wigs and the only time you'll ever see me work back with a company is if their hair is good so with that being said you guys know what's up this wig is so bomb and mind you a lot of the curls on this wig right now is the curls in its natural state um, i'm just gonna jump right into this video i'll kind of give you guys some details on the hair as we go through the um installing process but other than that the hair is gorgeous the hair is silky straight like i said this is their 360 lace frontal wig so you can pin this hair up girl you can pin it up I personally didn't put it up. I didn't um, tack down the back or anything. So I would not be showing you guys how to do that. But if you guys do want a another video on like how I would normally pin up my 360 lace frontal wigs. Or you know what I haven't seen on YouTube? Any videos on how to glue down the back of a lace wig. So I think I might give you guys one of that. Um, not too sure. Comment down below. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want. Like what kind of content you guys want me to put out. Because I'm doing this for you guys. Like, yes, I love being on here. But at the end of the day, I'm helping you guys as well. So, comment down below. Let me know your guys' suggestions. What do you want? And all that good stuff. Um, other than that, we're going to jump right into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So, you won't miss any of my uploads. And also, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. Everything is at Kayla D. And I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Deuces. So to start, I'll just be unboxing the hair for you guys so you guys can see the packaging. And basically what the hair looks like fresh out the box. So the hair is from ChinaLaceWigs.com. And this is your 360 body weight frontal unit. And this is pretty much what the wig looks like in its natural state. Now you guys, this hair is extremely soft. And, and not to mention that the hair is very affordable. The wig does come with four clips inside for extra security and it also has the adjustable straps. The wig does come with pre-plucked baby hair so you won't have to be doing too much when you're installing your unit. And this is what my unit looks like in its natural state. Now let's jump right into it. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm coloring my stocking cap so that it matches with my skin tone. So whenever I'm ready to apply my unit, the lace um, kind of blends in with it. Normally, if I'm doing blonde hair or a lighter um, hair, I would do the stocking cap method. But because it's just a regular um, black unit, I'm not going to do all that. And you don't have to be too precise with this part because you can always go ahead and add makeup to your lace once you're done to blend it even more. So I'm just trying to wait to make sure that everything fits perfect and I won't be needing to cut any extra lace off. And you want to make sure that your unit is in position to exactly where you'll be gluing it. Once I'm done trying it, I'm just going to glide it back a little bit. Then I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol and remove any excess dirt or makeup that I have stored on my forehead. And as you guys can see, there's still a lot of makeup on my forehead, although I washed my face a couple times last night. Then I'm going to take this scalp protector and I'm just going to apply that over my edges so I don't lose any edges or any more. And over my um, skin, like my forehead area where I'll be applying the glue. And now you're ready to layer adhesive. And the adhesive that I'm using is the Bold Hole Extreme Cream, which is literally the only glue, you guys, that I use on myself and on my clients. So the first thing that I'll be doing is applying a couple of thin layers of the glue um, over my forehead. And because I already know like exactly where um, I want to position the lace onto my head, I'm just going to apply it into that direction. Now you're going to take something with a flat head and you're just going to spread this out evenly on your forehead. 
then i'm taking my blow dryer and i'm just gonna let the first layer of glue dry clear before i apply a second coat And once the glue is dry now, then I'm going to go in with a second layer of glue and I'm basically just going to follow the same exact steps. And once the glue have dried completely, then you can go ahead and lay your unit. And because the unit is already positioned on my head to where I want to lay it onto the glue, it makes it so much easier just to like pull it forward and apply it. And I always apply the center of my lace first and you always want to make sure that you, um, you stretch the lace while you're laying it down. Because you don't want to end up once you're done applying it with any bulges or anything like that. Because this does happen here so your lace can bulk up. And it can look like it has a lot of creases in it and it just won't look right. So always like stretch the lace when you're laying it down. And once I'm done laying my lace down, then I'm just going to take my fingers and massage that lace onto the glue some more. And then to just dry that glue some more, I'm just going to run the blow dryer over it for another two minutes before I style it. Now moving on to the baby hair, so I'm going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to like hold down the lace with the comb while I tweeze the front some more because the baby hairs in the front are really thick and because I do not want the glue to lift that I just applied, you're going to need to hold it down while you tweeze the front. Now once you're done tweaking your baby hairs, now I'm going to take my foundation powder and this is my MAC press powder and I'm just going to apply that to the front of the lace to make it literally look like this lace is growing out of my scalp. Because like I said before, you want to find what the foundation powder does is it literally like covers all the shininess from the glue. It makes that lace look like it's growing out of your scalp. So that's also why I said that I did not need to do the um, stocking cap method. And then once you're done this, then you can go ahead and cut your um, baby hairs to your preferred length and you just style it as usual. Then I'm using the Got To Be Styling Gel to lay my baby hairs and just take a toothbrush and lay them baby hairs. But yeah, this is pretty much my way of applying my lace wigs, you guys, with adhesive. This is usually how I apply my wigs with the adhesive. And it's pretty safe. I've never really had any problems with removing my units. None of my edges have ever came out. So, And I do recommend you guys purchasing the lace remover from Bolt Hold as well. You can find it in the same section of where you can find the lace cream on their website. And just look how easy these edges are laying on this front tail, you guys. And voila, this is pretty much what the hair looks like once I'm done with it. This is, like I said, this is the hair in its natural state. And I absolutely love the curls on this unit. The curls in its natural state, mind you, they're not too tight and they're not too loose. So it gives you like the perfect combination. Like I love like the messy look of it. And the hair is bomb, you guys. Like, the quality is great. The hair is super soft, doesn't tangle or doesn't shed at all. And overall, I highly recommend this hair to you guys. Also, don't forget to take advantage of their sale that they do have going on right now. And this is pretty much the final look after I went ahead and kind of gave the unit some more curls. I added some more curls to it just to give me a sharper look because I did my makeup and stuff. And this is pretty much it, you guys. I do hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you won't miss any of my uploads. Don't forget to also turn your notifications on and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye!